Okay, good morning. Everyone's here. Let's go ahead and start with a big stretch. Up. And up. Good. And again, up. Just reaching up. And open. Good. Over to one side. Stretch. And over to the other side. Nice. Exhaling and start focusing on the breath in through the nose and out through the mouth. Stretch over and legs are apart, hands on the floor. Just take the hips side to side, rock in a little bit. Good. Deep breath in. Exhale as you release. Bend the knees, keep the head down. Don't come up too quickly or you're gonna get a head rush. Stay down here, here we go. Good, deep breath in. And exhaling, straighten. And now roll up slowly, shoulders back. Good. And head around. And around the other way. All right, let's go ahead and stretching out the calves. So pushing the heel down and up, down and up, good. And then if you can, take a little bit deeper lunge, make sure this knee stays over the heel and come down into that lunge. If you can't, that's okay. Just stay pressing the heel down. But now I'm stretching out the hip flexor a little bit more. You can also, if you have a hard time, you can take it down to the ground here. And come up, grab leg, and stretch. All right, switching to the other leg. Heels up, so I'm gonna push it down. Heel down, up, down. Feels good to stretch first thing in the morning. Here we go, and let's go down, get the blood flowing. Yesterday I was teaching class and I had a really bad headache right before I started, probably from being on the computer, <laughs> doing a bunch of accounting stuff. Here we go, come up. And I was teaching Pilates class, and by the time I finished, my headache was gone. So, just get the blood flowing. It, it helps, right? A lot of times people get a headache and they take aspirin and they sit on the t couch and watch TV. Nope, get up and get moving. All right, here we go. Let's go ahead and start with plie squats. Hang on if you need to, if not, here, down, and up. Nice and easy. Getting the legs warmed up. Legs are wide. Knees are over the toes here. Right back is straight. Good. So. All right. Eight more. Breathe. And four. And Five, doing great. Six, seven, and eight. Okay, good. Let's stretch it out one more time. Other side. And get ready to start with the lunges. Remember your foot forward. You want that knee over the heel. Back heels lifted and stays lifted here we go down and up down and up and focus is forward pull that tummy in and see if you can balance right lunges take a lot of balance one foot in front of the other that's why we have the chair here if you need to hang on one two and three. We're using this glute to push.
push ourselves up. Five. There we go. Now we're going to come down and take the bag to the back. Down and lift. There it is. Down and lift. And four. Breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth. Okay, now the leg to the front for eight. Here we go. Down, up to the front. Good. And up. And breathing. Try to get a nice deep lunge if you can. And this should be burning. Yeah. Okay. Holding it here. And lift. Lift. Tummy in. Now balance on that foot. Seven and for six or thirty-two. Five, six, seven, sixteen more. Six, you're doing great. The supporting leg should be hurting a little right in here because you're using that and using this. And eight, good, bring it down. Same thing, over flat back. The knee is soft, you don't want to lock that knee. Push up. Two, three, breathe. Going for 32. And I'm squeezing the tush. As squeezing the tush is what makes the leg go up. Five, six, eight more. Three, four, five. You got it. Okay, that single leg squat. It always gives us that last little burn. And three, four, five. Five, three more. Let's go. Ah, it's always that first set. Ah, that's the hardest. Good. You should really have felt it right in here. Let's go ahead and sit and stretch it out. And then we'll switch sides. I'm just sitting in my chair, crossing the leg over. It doesn't want to stretch too much, but can give it a little stretch and then we'll do it a little more later. Okay, other side. Are you ready to start? Find your balance. Foot forward, back heel lifted. Here we go. Five, six, seven, single squat. Down. And two. Back is straight. Tummy pulled in. Back heel lifted. And good. Seven. See if you can find your balance. Let go for eight more. Ah, getting deep into that lunge. Hanging on just helps you get a little deeper down. Seven. Okay. Then we're going to lift that leg. Here we go for eight. Down. Lift. Ooh, and you should feel that in the glute you just worked. Four. Three. Five. Six. Seven. Okay. Up to the front. Push the chair out a little bit if you need to. Down. Up. There it is. For eight. And four more. Tummy strong. Seven. Oh, last one. Okay, here we are. 
Leg is a little sock. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. You got it. Five, six, seven. Look at your foot. Make sure you're not pronating or supinating. Turning in or turning out. Want to have that nice arch there. Let go. Five, six, seven, eight more. That supporting glute has to work extra hard to hold you there. Five, six, seven, eight. Good. Bring it down and up. Two, three, four. Breathe. And eight. Come here, pumpkin. He's already making noise. Sixteen more. One, two, three, four. Hello. You ready to exercise? Eight more. Four, five, six. Single leg squat down. And two. Hello. This makes exercising easier. <laughs> I forget about the pain when I get a pat. And five. Six, two more, seven, and eight. All right. Looks like I lost my chair, so I'm just going to cross it over like this and stretch. Let me go ahead and sit in your chair. Take a drink if you need it. Grab your light weights. You can go ahead if you want, and let's get started. There we go. Are you ready for the weights? Um, a little guy? Yes, you're all ready to exercise. He already worked out this morning with my client. He had a big workout. He was on the mat, doing some rolling with the balls. It's been busy. Okay, here we go. Tummy in. Remember, as we're doing these kicks to the front, you don't want to be using the back. You want the back nice and strong. Up and up. Good. Okay. Are you doing your kicks too? Here we go. Five, six, seven, and eight. It's up. Arm is up. And two. And again, make sure on your supporting leg that you're evenly balanced. Weight on the big toe, pinky toe, and heel. And you're not turned in. Your foot's not turning in like this. And you're not turned out. Up. Good. Tummy strong. See if you can let go. Five, six, seven, oh, and eight. Okay, to the side. One. You can take the arm up or just leave it here. Three and four. See if you can balance. If you can, bring it here. Try eight more. It's a little harder with that balance right there, huh? Three and four. See if you can bring the arms up. Six, seven, <laughs> eight. Okay, to the back. Oh, that's why we have the chair and hanging on. Two, three, four. If you can, lift the arm up. Six, seven. Eight more. Hey, that's my finger. Two, three, four, five. He doesn't want me to hang on. Seven and eight. Okay, here we go. Leg out to the side, holding the balance here. Let's bring the leg in. And two. Now remember on this one, you have to squeeze that tush and lift up, otherwise your foot's gonna go like this. Right? Up and you're coming in. See if you can balance here. One, two, three. If you need to hang on, five, six, but somebody is not letting me hang on. One, two, three. He is purring though. I know he looks like he's attacking me, but he's purring. Eight more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Here we go. Bringing it back. And pulsing. Two, three. Four, five, six, seven, and eight. Take the arms out. Two, three, breathe. Five, six, that back heel's lifted. And 
one. You can either go in curtsy pulse or you can go parallel pulse too, right here. Seven, eight more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Good, bring it down. Up, two, and three. Keep going. Four, five, six, seven, one more, and eight. There it is. Take the leg out and hold and balance. Feeling that balance. This leg's out. Holding, bring it in. And extend. And in. And extend. Now, if you want, see if you can get that arm in front. Use this tummy to hold you there. Extend. In. Extend. In. Extend. Breathe. Four more. We can do it. One. Two. Oh. Three. And four. All right. Nice work. Bringing it down. We're going to go ahead and pulsing. One, two, three, up and over. Make sure when you're doing this pulse, your tush is out. You don't want to be forward with the hips. Tush is out. Knees over the heels. Here we go. One, two, three, up on the toes and over. Two, three, and over. Good. One, two, three, and pull it to me and see if you can try it without hanging on. Oh, it's a little harder. Two, three, over, and one, two more. And last one, two, three, and over. Okay, good work. We're gonna go ahead and switch sides, grab a drink if you need it. I'm just gonna check and make sure who's here today because I'm, and that everybody is muted. There we go. All right, other side. Move your chair if you need to. Good to see everybody's face, smiling face. Tuesday, October 6th, today's my husband's birthday. Having sushi for dinner, it's a good day. All right, you gotta work extra hard so I can eat all that rice. Okay, tummy in, look at your foot before you start. Make sure that you're nice and balanced on this leg. Glute is strong, tummy in, five, six, Seven and here we go. Up and two, three, four. Good. See if you can let go. Six. You can try both arms if you want. Seven. Eight. Eight more. All right. Test your balance. And four. Good. Five. Six, seven. Okay, now to the side. Find your balance first. Use this glute to hold you there, nice and strong. Five, you can try both arms. Seven, eight more. Otherwise, one arm and you're hanging on. And four. Breathe, five, six, seven, ah, to the back, and one, two, three, arm up. If your arm's tired, just rest it here, and six, seven, or you can take it over here, eight more, one, and two, good, or up, three, and four, five, six, ah, there it is. Okay, feeling that balance on this leg, 
squeeze here so this leg doesn't stop right there and bring it in. One, two, three, four. Tummy strong. Six, seven, and eight. Breathe. Two, if you need to hang on, just hang on. Seven, six, nine. Sixteen more. Oh, you got it. And eight more. Four, five. Oh, okay, let's take it for that pulse. So on the pulse, you can either go back into a curtsy, so both legs are turned out, and I'm doing the curtsy, or you can just stay forward parallel. Okay, it's up to you. And you're moving, and see if you can let go. Bring the arms up. 16 more. Four, five, six, eight more. You should really be feeling it right in here. Yeah, a little bit in here too, because that quad's assisting. Seven, and take it down and up. Down, up, and two. And there it is. Five. We're just going for eight. And that's it. Eight. Okay, leg is here. Find your balance again. You want to make sure this leg is strong and straight as you extend. So it doesn't have to be high. You just want to contract this quad muscle. You don't want the knee loose. So we, right there. Here we go. In and extend. Hold. Feeling this work. In and extend. Tummy strong, see if you can let go and extend and balance. In and extend. Okay. And I really feel an arch in my supporting leg working to make sure I don't pronate and turn that foot in and out. Good. Three more. And two. Last one. Hold it there. Hold. And let's bring it down. Here we go. Pulsing up and over. Three pulses. Tush out. Knees over the heels. And up and over. One, two, three. Up. Take that stretch. Feel that good stretch in the obliques. Three. Over. Four more. One, two, three. You got it. Breathe. Last one. Okay, nice work. Let's go ahead and move the chairs to the side. If you need them, you can always get it. There you go. I moved you. Time to move. Okay. Up onto the toes. Grab your weights. You don't have to use weights, but if you want to, we'll go ahead and start with the feet parallel. So my feet are facing forward. Tummy in. Strong. I'm going to come up and down using the arms. Two. Good. Now, if you don't want to use the arms, just come up like this. And five. And six. Seven. Eight. Eight more, otherwise you're using those arms up to the side. Trying to get that combo in. Working two things at the same time. Yeah. And five. All right, eight, okay. Turning the heels together, so if you can see, my heels are together. Tummy strong, and I'm gonna come up. Now on this one, I wanna squeeze that tush. So I want two buttons to become one. Nice and strong, I don't wanna be relaxed and have my back arched. 
going to squeeze that tush, pull that tummy in, see how my back just really straightened. Okay, if you want, start here, and then you can take the arms up to the front. If you feel the balance. Good. Yeah. Otherwise, your hand just here, feeling that tummy, feeling the tush, strong. Eight more. Of course, those calves are working, but everything else is too. Two more. Okay, good. Now I'm going to bring those toes together. Big toes touching. This one feels a little awkward. If you want to add the bicep curl with it, do that. Otherwise, hands on the hip, come up and down. Feel your balance. You'll feel it's a little bit different. So, and you don't want to be leaning back like this. You've got to get forward like that. Good. Eight more. Up. And if you don't want to do the combo, just do one or the other. Right now, I'm just doing the arms. Okay? Or I can just do the legs. Four more. Five. Six. There it is. Seven. And eight. Good work. Lots of modification, but stretch it out. Stretch this back. I'm coming up onto the toe and pushing that heel down. Stretching out my calf muscles. Okay, switch to the other side, stretch it out. And all right, nice work on that. Okay, you can either start the arm circles with the weights, but you're gonna have to drop them once we start circling, otherwise you're just using your shoulders. Okay, right? but if you are using, remember, you're here on the pull down. It's working, this is the lat muscle here. You don't want to be back here. It's got to be here, okay? You can also keep it through this one. Just make sure you're not moving your back. And then if you want to keep them through this one, again, arms are side here, not back here, here coming in and out. Okay, it's up to you. I'm gonna drop the weight because I got to talk as I'm doing this. So keep the weights if you want to. Arms are here, five, six, seven, and pull them down. Two and three, you can move those hips. And five, put on your music, seven and eight, and move. Two, four, and five, six, seven, Ah, oh, keep going. I just got a bunch of music. It's uh, like non-copyrighted that I can use. So I might play around with that. See if I can get some background music going while we do this. Seven and eight. Here we go. In and out. And in and out. I think I need to be on the microphone though if I do that. In and out. Two. Three. Four more, five, and six, seven, and eight. Good, hold the arms here. It's like you're holding that big exercise ball. If you have the weights, it's gonna get heavy. Here we go, in, and out, and in, and out. You just wanna make sure you're not using this part. Don't be using those neck, or the neck and those shoulders and those traps. Wanna be nice and loose in here. Three more and two, and three. Okay, if you have those weights, put them down, get ready to circle. And two, three, four. And arms are straight. You don't want to have the arms bent because if I bend the arms, now I'm using the shoulders because I can't get the arms moving. So they got to be straight. And eight more. Round two, three, five, six, Okay, small and fast, and it's around. Push down, little circle. And five, six, seven, eight, and round. Two, three, four, good. Five, six, seven, 
eight more. You should start to feel it in those deltoids. Again, the arms are straight. Five, six, seven. Now big around. But don't use the shoulders. Don't do that. Just the arms. Four more. Good. Hold them here. And hold. And breathe. And five, six. And bend for 16. Pull them down. And two, three. And if you're feeling tension in the neck, relax. Bring the arms lower. And let the head go like this. So you can get rid of that tension in here. And seven. Hold them here. Bring them in. And two. Four, breathe. Okay, hold them out to the side. And in. I know it's burning. And four, good. And five. That's why you move the hips. You forget about the arms. And eight, here we go. It's the other way with the circle all around. Think about that. Which way did I go last time? Okay, and see how my arms are low? I don't want to be up here. I'm down. No tension in the neck. And eight more. Six. Good. Seven. Here we go. Small and fast. And two. And three. And four. And the arms are just a blur. Eight more. Three, four, Ooh. Okay, now they're gonna go big. Remember, don't use the shoulder. So I'm not coming way up by my ears. Otherwise, I'm using my shoulder. I'm just kind of like right about there. Five, and six, and seven, and eight. Okay, push them back, and back, and back. Remember, back is here, not there. I'm not straining my shoulder and moving my back. So back is actually kind of halfway between front and side. Seven and eight. I'm just bringing them a little more forward to the front and then pushing to that point. And five, six. Okay, get ready to hug. Same thing with hugging. I'm here. I'm coming in here. Thinking of the chest muscles here. Relax the neck and in. And in, and in, six, seven, and eight more. Five, six, seven. There we go. And here we are squeezing. Three, squeeze those chest muscles. One, two, ah. and eight more. And eight, all right, stretch the head, circle around. Nice work, take it over if you need to. Get rid of any tension you have in here. Another one we could do is shoulder shrug, bring the shoulders up to the ears, and then release. Let's try that one more time. Bring them up to the ears as much as you can until you can anymore, release. When you release, don't control the movement going down. Let them pop one more time. Up, hold it there. Breathe in, higher, 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 higher. There you are. Head to one side and head to the other side. Take the arms back for the stretch. Okay, grab a drink and let's take it down to the mat. Here we go. Don't forget to hydrate. Very important, but not too much because we're going to work that tummy. Okay, down to the floor. Okay. <sighs> nice work on that. We'll move you over. Are you done working out? Are you all done? Are you done being flirtatious with everyone? He's had two workouts this morning. 
Let's start. Let's do our triceps since we're right here. And we just work those arms, let's finish. Make sure your shoulders aren't this and your back's not crunched. Chest up, shoulders back, bring it down and push up. There you go. I see some of you doing the difficult modification, which is having the hips up and then coming down and up. And again, on this one, you're not using the hips. <laughs> Otherwise, just stay here, down and push up. Keep those elbows together as you go down. Don't let them go out to the side. And up, good, down. You're pushing up all that upper body weight. The lower you go, the harder it is to get up. And four more. Arms should be burning. Let's do another four, just for fun. Here we go. One, ah, two, three. Uh, last one. And yes, now you won't be thinking about your tummy when we start working it. You're thinking about those arms and stretch them out a little bit. There you go. Okay, on to your backs. Knees in. Let's rock a little side to side. Hands behind the head or bicycle. Remember to hold the heaviest part of your head. Don't crunch your chin down. I want to be looking up at the ceiling and I'm just twisting the body as it's done. Keep going. If you have a hard time with this one, keep going. Just do the crunches up and down right here. All right? And maybe just extend a little bit. See? I'm just kind of going a little bit on it. If you have a hard time. Extending out. Good. Breathe. And eight more. Exhaling as you extend. Five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, good. Bring it down. Let's rock it a little side to side. Okay, reverse crunch. So you can either put your hands underneath and come up here, or how we do in Pilates with here. I like to do it here because I feel when I'm here, I feel like I, my shoulders want to come up and I get a lot of tension in my neck. But it's up to you, whichever way you're comfortable. We're going for 20 today. Up. And down and breathe. A little easier if you cross the feet. And ten more. Good. Five more. Breathe. Three, four, and five. Oh, and bring it down. Rock a little bit side to side. Okay, we're doing good. Let's go ahead and take the feet straight up. We're going to come up and touch those feet. Touch the feet and down. If you have a hard time, bend the knees and just come up and down. Here we go. You're moving. Otherwise, come up, touching those feet. Breathe. We're just going for ten, so you got two more. All right, nice work. Rolling it over. Let's stretch into the plank. Here we are. Okay, into the child's pose first. Stretch. And then we'll go into the downward dog. Look over the shoulder. Here we are. Up. Into the downward dog. Good. 
I'm going to come up onto both toes and both heels down. Up and down. Pushing. Every time I push my heels down, I push my chest up. Yeah. There it is. Two more. Up. Okay, going into that plank. Right over the shoulders. If you need to modify, I'm going to go into the modify. I'm here. Okay, that's my modify. Otherwise, you are in a plank. So modify here. Otherwise, you're in that plank you're holding. Deep breath in and exhale. Deep breath in. Exhale. One more deep breath in. Exhale, bring it back up to the downward dog. There we go. Okay. Good. We're going to come back. I'm going to show you the exercise. I'm down. Both knees down and straighten. Ten times. Keep going. If you're in mod five, just hold here. Curl your toes if you're in mod five and see if you can feel like someone's punched you in the tummy. Punch and down, right? Otherwise, you're in regular plank. Good. And you're going down and up. Here, down and up. Four more. One. Two, three, three, and four. Ah, you got it. Bring it down. Nice. Stretch it out. Oh, okay. We're almost there. We're good today. Let's go ahead and bring it back to the plank. And we're just going to bring that knee in to the opposite elbow for a time. If you're here, you're bringing it in and in. Good. Again, if you're in modified, keep going. Just stay in your plank here. Okay. Right? Otherwise, your knee's coming in. You should have it up. Four more. Two, three, and four. Good. Bring it down and rest. Okay. Now your arms are probably a little tired from those arm circles. We're going to go ahead. Take it over to the side. So you're here. Again, you have four ways to do it. You can be in a full side plank if you want, but you have to start in the full side plank. Otherwise, the easier version is just right here. Twisting, bring that arm, and then twisting the body. You can also come up, or you can come up and straighten one leg. I'm going to stay down for my modifiers, right? It's up to you. Okay. You want to feel the body twisting and then twisting back. So my arm is moving because my body's moving. My client calls this the needle and or thread in the needle, thread in the needle, okay? Putting it through. And two more. Last one. Okay. And you're really feeling that in the obliques and the tummy. Let's switch to the other side. And that's why if you're in the modified, you can still get the same feeling, same workout. You're just not putting as much pressure up onto your shoulder, your elbow, right? Again, if you're feeling, you can when you're here in your modified. If you want to come up, lift the hips, try that. But again, it does put a lot more pressure onto that shoulder. So staying here is just as good. I'm feeling it. I feel it in there. If you're in a full side plank, yay. Good for you. Yes. Three more. Two. Two. And three. All right, you guys. Good work today. Let's stretch it out onto our backs. Let's do a good stretch. Take the leg up. I'm going to flex and point the toe. 
plex and point, and then circle the ankle. Grab here and bring that leg closer to me. I really feel it right here in the hamstring, the glute hamstring connection. I can't get it as straight as I want. I'm trying to straighten, cross it over. And bring it in if you can. If not, stay here. This is some, for some people, this is a good enough stretch. Yeah. For others, you gotta get a little deeper in the stretch, bring the hands through, rock side to side. Deep breath in and exhale. Okay, let's switch legs. Left leg up, flex, plate. Circle. You can loosen up, pull it a little closer to you. Okay. And then cross it over. Bring it in if you can. Deep breath in and exhale. Rock a little side to side. Okay, let's bring the feet down. Let's do a back stretch really quick. Arms out to the side. I'm going to look over to you and I'm going to take my legs the opposite way. And I'm just feeling that nice stretch there. And other way. Here we are. One more each way, over, and over. Okay, let's roll up and go onto our hands and knees to stretch out those hip flexors. There we go. Bring one leg through, make sure that knee stays over the heel. If this is difficult for you, try this standing up and just doing one leg in front and one leg back a little bit like we did in the beginning, stretching up the calf. But this isn't an easy position to get into, especially if you had a knee surgery, right? So. And straighten the leg, lift the toe. You know, another way to do this too, to get the hip flexor stretch, is if you have stairs, you can put one foot at a higher stair, so this would be your higher stair, and then stand like two stairs down. Hang on to the rails and push yourself so you're getting that hip flexor stretch right there. So I do it on my stairs all the time. Okay and straighten. But I'm getting tired of seven more years of stairs. I feel it. I feel it in my knees. I got my little knee things on today. My knees don't hurt from working out and exercising. My knees hurt from going up and down those stairs. Here we go. Bring it down. It's crazy. I try now to, <laughs> I, I put things at the end of the stairs. So I make piles throughout the day. It's like, nope, I'm not going up. Not going up, I'm gonna wait, and we put all this stuff here. Because before I'd be like, oh, I gotta bring something upstairs, just run up, run down, run up, run down. I'd be going up like 30, 40 times a day. Now I try to keep it to a minimum. Here we go. And turn and stretch. But when we retire in seven more years, uh, no stairs. No, I'm not doing it. No more. One big ranch house. Stretch over. Deep breath in on one level. And breathe. See if you can reach over a little more and touch that toe. Uh, deep breath in. And exhale. The other side. And this leg. 
and bring it over. See if you can reach that a little more. Touch. Really feeling that stretch in the oblique. Good. And then come to the front. There we go. Breathe. Don't let those legs turn in. Good. As you exhale, push down a little further. All right. Bring the feet together. Head over to one side. Other side. Reach those arms up and open, grabbing to the back. Okay, and give yourself a hand. Good work today. Good work today, kitten. He is a good motivator for all of us.